What's good, people? It's your boy D-Dog here. It's been a while since we did a vlog, man, so we're gonna get it in today. We're gonna try to do the vlog thing today. I kind of overslept for work. I'm not, I'm late, but you know what I'm saying? I'm not like late, late. I figured, let's vlog today. Let's try to do something productive. So I'm just gonna pretty much show you what my day is like at work. I'm kind of happy right now because I today is my last day doing help desk <laughs> and I'm like man I really don't want to do sh I'm just being real just being honest man being a help being on the help desk man that shit that shit wears you out it wore me out I you know just sitting there eight hours I sit there eight hours in a day. I don't like that shit at all. To go through this shit, to, for this to be my last day doing the help desk shit, nah, you just don't know. Like, I'm happy as fuck. Hey, man, so let's, uh, let's get it in. Okay, Google, turn off all lights. Yep. All right, let's go. So, yeah, I'm at work, man. Um, good old University of Michigan. And I'm late. I don't, like, I don't like being late. And it's just one. It's one of the most frustrating things ever when you're late. But at least you know, just thankful to have a job. One of those things is just it's real annoying sometimes that you, you know, what I'm saying that you gotta go through things in life like looking for jobs and everything. I don't lie, man. Looking for jobs. Hard. It's hard and annoying. Like I come and just couldn't go like back in the day where you just go in into the place and fill out an application and, and let them uh, pick you based off your skill rather than the algorithm. However you say that damn word. Just get a job based off your experience and skill. Not all this politics and shit. So if anybody out there that's having trouble looking for a job man here's my advice keep looking and if that gets frustrating create create a hustle for you to make some money in. you know what I'm saying have something make your side gig your main gig guarantee you like once you find out what you can do like what's what's your thing that you can do on the side ain't nobody gonna stop you man nothing is stopping you bro you can do it. Anybody can do it. Everybody's good at something. There's no way that you were brought in this world to not know how to do shit. Flat out. Flat out. So, I'm gonna try to make this vlog look cool by doing nothing today. So, let's go to my work desk. lunch oh, I'm so glad this is my last day on the service desk like you don't know how annoying and how stressful it is being at the service desk like I literally get sleepy like I'll be dead to the world when I get home you sit at a you sit at a, ta a desk for like eight hours in a day and you just literally just be sitting there until someone calls you just gotta it's one of those things where you just tough it out like ah I only have to do it three weeks, and then probably another, if I do get hired in here, probably for another six months probably, I'll probably won't do it again. So what I'm about to do now, man, I'm about to go get something to eat. Hopefully, you know, then we'll me some pizza. Another hour, I get back to 2.30, and then once I get there, then I'm, last day, I get to go back and fix shit. But, yeah, I recommend people, when you get into IT, man, I recommend people that when they first start out, that they should start out doing that. That they should legit, legit start out doing that because it helps you, helps you become a better technician. It's just that I just don't like doing it. I hate it. 
I just can't be at my desk for like eight hours just sitting there fixing computer, like talk to somebody about their problems. I get to the point where when I did that, when I, my first job and I was doing that, I would never want to talk on the phone. Never. Wanna know why? Because I get paid to hear people bitch in my ear. You think I want to hear someone complain in my ear and talk to me about their problems for free? No. So yes, yes. I hate doing service desk. I hate doing IT. I hate, not IT, I hate doing the, the service desk call center shit. That shit is annoying. Let's go to, let's go to Little Caesars and get some, some, some eatery. So, all right. All right, so you can see I'm at Little Caesars right now. A shout out to one of my brothers. He recently got a job working in the corporate office of Little Caesars. They also are hired for IT, but trying to get in there, trying to get them tickets, you know what I'm saying? Right now, I'm just waiting on my food. It takes about five minutes to lunch, little combo, whatever. Go back to the office, eat my food there, and watch some Dragon Ball Super. That's, that's the motive, pretty much what I do. Like being a help desk, like the job is, the more I've been about this job, the, about the, the service desk part of the job, it's like it's like torture. But it's like, oh, uh, but see, and they only got us in one queue. They don't have us in, in all the other queues that everyone else does. Like it's so many other queues, it's like seven queues. And they only have us just in one, the one that we support. But even just then, sometimes you just have a slow day where you can just literally just sit there and not do anything. And sometimes it just be slow like that. So it's 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 really stressful sometimes. You just be sitting there. If you're not used to just sitting there, just sitting down and just sitting there and not doing anything, you know, you're looking at emails, trying to fix stuff by email and everything, and that doesn't work, then yes, it's not gonna work. You, you, you'll be, you, You'll lose your mind. You will lose your mind, I guarantee you. Keep watching me whip up, still be real and famous. I like that song. <laughs> I, I, like I said, I said it on my Twitter, man. I only like that song because it was produced by the Neptunes. That song would not get a lot of recognition for me if that song wasn't made by the Neptunes. I'd just be like, oh, it's just another Nego song. I don't know what I'm gonna do for Trap Karaoke. Like, Trap Karaoke is like this Friday. <laughs> I have to get picked first. You guys know this. Every time I do Trap Karaoke or whatnot, I literally like try to get selected. You know what I'm saying? Every time I went, I always get I always get a chance to perform. But now I'm running out of ideas for songs that I want to do for Trap Karaoke if I get picked. If I get picked this time, I think I'm gonna try to sing. I think I'm gonna do it. I'm just saying. I think I may sing a Usher song. Just because. And try something new every time. That's 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 what it's all about. First we gotta get picked. But they always take all day putting up the announcements to try to get picked. They be having people just like out the blue, like, oh we're doing it at six o'clock. So I'm like waiting at my waiting at my computer on my phone. Like I'm waiting for a pair of Jordans to release at 10 o'clock on sneakers. And I get picked every time. Look guys, it's the big house. <laughs> I see it every day now. Now that I see it every day and I actually been to a football game, I'd be like, oh look, it's the big house. You knew no more to be like, oh man, one day I'm gonna go there and be like, yeah, go blue. But now I'm like, oh man, it's the big house. You guys are probably experiencing a lot of wind. Craig, I can't wait for the winter, for the weather to get a little warm. You know, it's technically spring, but you know, it's gonna be a little chilly. It's gonna rain a little bit. I think we'll get some more snow. And that's just my opinion. I think we're gonna get some snow, but that's just me. So that's just my opinion. Don't, don't take my word for it. Like I said, I'm about to go back to work, man. And uh, watch, some, watch some Dragon Ball Super, you know, catch up. I'm, see, I'm glad that they're done with it now. So now I can catch up and watch all the episodes without having to worry about crutchy roll, clogging up, you know, not working, you know what I'm saying, acting stupid. I can just go on there, look at my episodes, and be cool. You guys wanna know what episode I'm on? 
I'm like on episode 80, bro. I'm like literally behind. Like, I got some catching up to do. So, I got Crunchy Roll to keep me company. But all right, man, I'm about to go back in here. I'm gonna eat this food. I'll catch you guys um, when I get off work, okay? All right, don't go nowhere. Make sure I hit that subscribe button too, in the meantime, okay? All right, I'll be right back. 